Hey lovies, what the red is up fam? If you're new here, my name is Terry Ann or T-A and I am a Connecticut based lifestyle YouTuber. And right now I'm in my car and I am headed to run some errands. So it's actually February 16th right now and um, it is like the fourth or so like full day of my maternity leave and I'm 36 weeks pregnant five days nine months pregnant basically and we have some just like last minute things to get for the baby um, we've done a really good job <laughs> at catching up because if some of you don't know if you're new here we moved to a new state to a new apartment in November when I was about six seven months pregnant um, so the shower, the baby shower was like just last week, basically, um, 10 days ago, actually. And so we are kind of behind, we've been behind on like getting things for the nursery, just getting things for baby, but we are pretty caught up at this point. And even though I've only been at home for a little bit since my maternity leave started, um, I got a lot done. We're in a pretty good place, but now that I've organized pretty much everything that we've gotten from the baby shower, I know what we still have left to get, like what we still need. And um, so I'm taking, I'm going to go to Target and get a few of the things um, that don't have the discount from the Amazon baby registry and just get them in the house now. Because we are essentially, I feel like on baby watch, I think the baby's coming early. Um, and I think everyone thinks the baby's coming early. So with that being said, we just don't have that much time. Okay, so we did a little bit of damage. Got a few cute things though, but also mostly things that we needed. So most of the list is checked off. So now it's time to get out of here because I have to pee so bad. Okay guys, we are in the car. Um, babies are expensive. Babies are expensive. I don't know how people are doing it with like three, four kids. Like teen mom is hitting different. How are teenagers doing this? Um, butt paste, wildly expensive. No need for it to be that expensive. Aquaphor, for what? How is Aquaphor different from Vaseline? I'm literally gonna look at the ingredients and if it's not any different, I'm, we're making some changes. I like, whew. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've been, we've been purchasing a lot of things since we found out that we were pregnant, so it's not like the first time that I'm understanding that things are expensive, like, you know, like the crib and all that other stuff, but, like, I just went in for some, like, bibs and, like, butt paste and, like, just little things. Pamper Pampers? She literally is going to shit in it. And they're going to be tossed out. And they are so expensive. And the thing is, is that I still didn't get everything that I need. I need to get one of those, like, um, square things to put in her closet with the little bins that go in it for her toys and some of those like bins for the top of the shelf in her closet for just like extra storage purposes. And then I want to get some bins for our bathroom, but I'm gonna do that with Mike because those are heavy. And I think I'm gonna go to Walmart for those. Um, Cause I didn't see any of the bins that I like here. And then the last time we were here, Mike said the square thingies were cheaper at Walmart. Home, Mike is cooking. What's going on here? What is happening here with this chicken? Oh, it just a, uh, it's just gonna be a regular roasted chicken. I mean, it's, it looks like this, because I spatchcocked it, which means you take the spine out. Uh, and why it's green on top is I made like a little compound butter. Um, butter with like a little bit of uh, lemon peel, sorry, lemon zest, uh, parsley, uh, and scallions. Butter, something else too. Can't remember what the other thing was. I spread it over the top, and then like you've noticed, but like 
You've seen me before make the chicken where I put canola oil over the top. That's what makes it crispy. This is just using oil instead, and that's going to have a little bit of the herbs flavor to it, too. Wow. We hope. Swanky. Yeah, I mean, it could suck. We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, I'm going to neaten up the bathroom, and then he's going to make dinner, and we are going to live our life. Yeah. This thing had a good run. Yeah, this cracked. Right in the middle while I was using it. But and it cracked previously, but it only cost 22 bucks to get a replacement of this piece. So I'm going to do that. So that's good. Yeah. And these are a bucket of things that I need to sanitize for the baby. Oh, nice. So. Okay, guys. So, little curl bathroom update. I was just telling Mike, like, it's not crazy decorated in here, which is what I wanted. So that's the towel that I just got today, the hand towel. I might switch out little hand towels like de for decorative ones, but it'll always be like kind of that color theme. I really wanted something simple. Baby things can get obnoxious really fast and I don't really like that. The most decorative thing here is the rainbow wall. I do still think I might do like maybe a mirror here or like two pieces of art from Urban Outfitters, like something like kind of funky, but not too baby-ish. Um, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is literally as much as I'm doing. I'm gonna get a pink trash bin still, like I said, with a lid for her diapers. But like, I wanted everything to be kind of minimal. Like, obviously this is a kid's hamper, but I thought it was cute and it's simple and it's sleek and it doesn't take away from anything. It actually matches with our little waste bin thing here. And then I think the little rug here also is very kitty. Um, the frills for a girl's bathroom, but I kept it white and neutral. So it's like, it's just like a nice clean, uh, but decorated for a kid bathroom. And um, her linen closet, I'm working on organizing right now. So those are gonna be gone. Those are curtains for her bedroom, for her nursery. I have to sew them. So um, I'm probably gonna do that this weekend. Uh, those are extra towels for when I am washing these. Um, I might get a little decorative towel, like a smaller one to go over that, but we'll see. And then I just started organizing her things. I'm gonna get more of these bins for this shelf because the towels are gonna to go up here and like her crib sheets and stuff are gonna go up here. Um, and then this will be, this shelf will be more like of her stuff. Um, so we have like her hooded towels right now. I got some more hooded towels that are just gonna fill in here. Um, washcloths, I got more washcloths, the little head scrubber thingies. And then we have like, Shampoo, baby wash, I'm gonna put in her lotions, some of her like Aquaphor, you know, just like little things. And then she started getting bath toys, which I hadn't even considered getting her, <laughs> to be honest. I think these are gonna be things she plays with when she's older. Um, and then those are her, those are the knee pads and elbow pads for when she's actually taking baths in the tub. Um, and then I'm gonna take these stuff out and her little bath, her Frida bath, that we're gonna be bathing her in, will go, will be stored in there. Right now it's in a box. Um, so I'm gonna take that stuff out, store it somewhere else, and put her bath time stuff in there. Um, and then she still has all the storage underneath here. Right now it's just like toilet paper and like my postpartum like diaper stuff in here. Um, that I'll be using so I'm gonna clear that out as well and I don't know what's gonna go in there But I'm sure she'll have things that'll need to go in there and then we went through and we cleared out all the adult stuff and Put in all of the baby things So like all of the medicine my sister like filled a little basket not a little a huge basket with like medicines and all that kind of stuff so I split it between things in here and then things like for her diaper bag that I thought would be good to have on the go. So different medicines, the things to like deliver the medicine. Um, we got like a few different thermometers, Q-tips, 
baby sunscreen and that's like the electric nail file that everyone always says you need. Um, so I'm sure we'll fill this up more as we figure out what she needs. And yeah, that's it. Like that's her bathroom. I didn't want to do anything crazier than this. So I'm very happy with it. Um, like I said, I got like three more hooded towels for her. So we have a, like a little hook by the door. I'm going to hang one there just so it's like cutesy. And then, um, like I said, maybe like two pieces of art. Like I want something that says girl power. Um, so we'll see. And then like something pretty here in like gold frames. Um, so probably not gold frames because this is a little tiny bit boho. Like it's not true boho, but it's like. It's got a little hint of boho, so I'm gonna probably stick with the wood frame. This is like the balloon arch from the baby shower. So when we were like undoing everything, I was like, well, I paid all this money for this balloon arch and it's so pretty and it's so cute. I don't wanna just like toss it. So we took a piece of it. This isn't a whole thing. We took a piece of it and I thought we could do this, hang it above her door because these balloons last forever and it would be cool to hang it above her door and kind of have it as a welcome home for her when she gets home. So it's like a little bit of a celebration. So that has been hung and I really like it. I think it's super cute. And it, the lot, it pulls a lot of colors from her actual nursery actually. So I thought it would be, it just worked out really cute. Um, yeah. Whew. Chicken in the oven, babe? Huh? Oh, yeah, it's in the oven. Cool. Um, okay, so I'm going to head into the nursery and do a few more things. It's 5 o'clock, so I'm working overtime today. Mm -hmm. um, I like to say that because I'm not working. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a few more things in the nursery, and then I'm going to hop back on when the chicken's done so you guys can see what it looks like. Because also, people ask questions about brick chicken. Oh my god, really? I that. Yeah, and they were like, whatever happened to brick chicken? And I made it for Christmas Eve, too. Oh, you did? That's right. It was so, it was so good. good. Yeah, Christmas Eve. But I was the first time. Yeah. So the first time it was good, and then he made it for Christmas Eve, and it was so good. Brick chicken is so good, guys. If you are new here, Older followers know one time we had to go all the way to Home Depot and pay 80 cents for a single brick so that Mike could make something called brick chicken that he saw in like one of his cookbooks. I need you guys to know, people are like, yeah, I can cook, I can cook, but Mike loves to cook. <laughs> In a different life, I would have been a chef. Yeah, like Mike loves cooking. If there's any money in it, and you can. It, you work grueling hours. Yeah, and you work grueling hours. You work like the, like all the times when you want to be on vacation. That's when chefs are working. Yeah. Like they don't. They like like oh my god, I I can't wait to have July Fourth with my family. Like no, no, can't do it. Christmas maybe. Christmas Eve. Mm -mm. So like he loves to cook like. I'll be on the couch watching TV or on my phone and Mike will come sit down on the couch and open a cookbook and like look at recipes and like he follows restaurants on Instagram. He like follows chefs. There are chefs that he like fangirls over and um, I'm not passionate about cooking in that way. Mm -hmm. If I am hungry and no one is around and I absolutely have to eat to live, I will make food and I do okay at my dishes. Like my little Jamaican dishes, like I make them well, like he has things that I make that he likes, but Mike? Yeah, there's stuff that you make that I won't even dip into it to try it myself because why even, like why even bother? Yeah. The first time I, the, uh, last week was the first time I, no, this weekend was the first time I ever made myself anything curry. With curry, yeah. Like and I usually I was, make curry chicken yeah, and I mean, things I don't like that. I usually dip into where curry goes because Terry's a good job at it, so I just don't even, it's like not even worth me learning it. Yeah, because when I get it down, I get it down. But like, He's passionate about cooking food and, and he is meticulous. Like he'll, like he measures. With the, I'm not like a measurer kind of person or anything like that. So it's not that I don't cook. It's like, why take his joy from him? Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, why would I, why would I do that to him when I can enjoy That's, so many different recipes? I, I, so 
I don't mind it there when when you make your dishes on the weekend or the weekdays it's so nice because I don't have to do the cooking at the end of the night mm -hmm. but I, I'd be borderline upset if you decided I'm gonna make a meal on the weekend it's like no, no no that's when I like to make my like big three hour cook time meals and stuff like that like he will start prepping a meal from the night before yeah that's like so crazy that it needs that kind of preparation like I have yeah. never aspired. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare to me. Um, yeah, like the, it's, it's not a surprise. I'm all about 30 minute meals and crock yeah. pot dinners and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not a surprise that I end up being pretty good at making pizzas. No, it's which like, I don't even think the vlog knows that you've done that. Did I, did I vlog that? I don't know if you've vlogged any of that, no. I didn't vlog any of that. Mike registered pizza. for pizza stuff to for our wedding. That was, that was my Christmas gift, that wasn't for the wedding. Oh, but you registered for the, the, the cookbook, cookbook the that cookbook. teaches you. Yeah, that teaches me how to do it. And then... Well, one of the two that I've been using, yeah. Yeah, and then he got pizza stuff for Christmas as well. Yeah. So he's been making pizza. He's done it twice now. So he did twice it... Twice now, and I've, a total I've made... Five. Five pizzas, yeah. Um. So he made pizza for us, and then he made pizza for when... For right before my baby shower, for when my friends came over. Um. And it is the best pizza like it's so good but like you do that stuff overnight he makes the dough from scratch he makes the sauce from scratch he makes it all yeah. from scratch and um yeah. it's so delicious but like it's also super unhealthy so it's, I, I try to not do it frequently like i could do it every weekend if i knew in advance that i was going to do it. like i could prep it on friday do it on saturday, saturday yeah um but it's like it's we're trying to be on diets and stuff. If I make that every weekend, we're going to be, we'll never lose weight. Mm -hmm. So I have to, I have to look He at said we, I'm not on a diet, no. but I'm going to be. Yeah. I'm going to be on a diet. Guys, guess in the comment below how much I've gained. <laughs> guess how much weight I've gained in this pregnancy. It's a good thing I'm not like, I'm not that sensitive about it because I think because I've been small my whole life. But what, what, did I weigh like 115 pounds before pregnancy? And so guess how much I currently weigh at nine months pregnant. And we're back with the chicken. It looks really good. And we're just gonna have some Brussels sprouts with it, right? Yep. Uh, and you some surprised rice. me, and some rice. Yep. Nice, so you surprised me with how you season the brussies. Should I surprise you with what I put on TV? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> that is my contribution. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, honestly, I think that might be it for the vlog. <laughs> um, so, thank you guys. This channel's going downhill. <laughs> this channel sucks. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're new here and you haven't already, Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment down below, and we will see you in the next vlog. I think in the last vlog, I said the very next vlog, I think, is going to be the labor and the delivery vlog. But it is not. It is not. I think the next vlog is going to be the labor and delivery vlog. Um, all right. See you guys in the next video. These American portions. My, oh my. <laughs> My, oh my, a kiss, and so I did.